Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Pearl. Last time, we went around Jubilee City. Well, not really went around, we went to Jubilee TV. Searched around there, that was pretty much all we had to do. We also fought Team Plasma Grunts. They attacked the professor and we had to fend them off with the help of Dawn. This time, we're heading on to Route 102. Also, I would like to say that I know by the time this is um, this is released, the remakes for the game will be out. They were announced actually last week, and they actually look pretty cool. I can't wait to actually try it, but I think it's coming out at the end of the year, along with a new game for Ar Arceus. Oh, weak looking trainer, do you want to have a go? Also realizing I, I just picked up the item and did not um, say what it was. Starting off against the Beedoof. Level 7, whereas we are level 11, 14, and 15. Monferno can never have none can never have enough levels. Uh, let's just mock punch it. Super effective. Paralyzed Heal was the item we got. Basically, it um, eliminates paralysis from a single Pokemon. One use only. And let's head on. Oh. Just trying to battle him, but. My dad gave me some Pokemon. They're gonna win for me. Sure about that? Well, magic card versus magic card. That I can tell you will be a long battle. Let's go with Shinx. Hidden power. It's gonna do like nothing, like normally. Or it's gonna one shot. You know what? I'll just leave Shinx out. It would be nice if Shinx actually knew some electric tech moves. Uh, let's go with Bite. Because both Magikarp and Starly were super effective against them. Um, or had a weakness to electric tech.
Let us head onwards. And this is their fight. This route is mainly going to be filled with um, trainers. There are a few fights to go through till the next town. The next town on our list is Floroma Town. Bidu is the next Pokemon fighting and it's a grass type, so Inferno would be the best to go against it. I'm like eight levels higher than the Pokemon here. I usually like to have my Pokemon at a decently high level at the beginning of the game so that later in the game uh, the battles don't take as long. Like, they're still challenging in a way, but they, they just don't go on forever at least. I usually do that with um, most RPGs that I play. And the wild battle. And the Shinx. I'm uh, actually just run because there's gonna be a lot of battles coming up. Revenged Pat. Re Revenged Path. Oh, this guy doesn't battle you? There are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. I thought- I think Pokemon would be able to break those boulders though. And there's an antidote! Well, let's use Rock Smash to break these boulders. See, I never thought of these as boulders. There's gonna be something else that comes in the way later, and that's what I usually think of as boulders, but... Anyways, we got TM39, Rock Tomb. Large boulders are hurled at the foe to inflict damage. It may also make the target flinch. Rock Tomb is actually a really good move. Its power is pretty low and its accuracy isn't, isn't that great, but it is a pretty good move for the beginning of the game. And a Zubat! Rock Smash. Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you only have the same type of Pokemon, you'll have a hard time against types it's weak to. That guy just telling you to have variety on your team, because if you don't, you're gonna have there's gonna be a set of a uh, single type of Pokemon or multiple types of Pokemon that can uh, KO your Pokemon easy. 
and you'll have nothing against it. Let's have a battle while the smell of um, aroma of flowers. An awakening. An awakening like um, the paralyzed heal. It's a one time use on a Pokemon. It, it um, wakes it up from sleep. What's your opinion on bug type Pokemon? Personally, not a fan of bugs, but bug type Pokemon, that's different. Trigatala! Fight it again, and that should take it out. Switch out to Inferno. And Rock Smash. Second one, and with the quick claw, we go faster. We can one shot this trainer, can't we? We're the strongest in our class. Might be in your class, but. Trained up my Pokemon pretty high level. Both of them have bad traces. Oh, <laughs> Magikarp is out. That's not good for typing. Ooh, Hidden Power hits everyone, but... Yeah, let's do it. Hidden Power will hit all three, but Inferno will be out and hopefully you can tank it. It is only one level higher, though. Both of them with the quick attack. Shinx hit empowers. Ooh, that did barely anything. It only did one of them. Oh, I I misread the thing. I thought this actually meant all of them, but only when the brackets are around all of them, that's when it's all of them. My mistake. 
I didn't remember Hidden Power being uh, a, a multi-hitting attack, so I was real confused. But it's just been a while. Punch this one, and let's bite this one. Shinx, level up. Inferno, level up. Oh! For as many fury swipes. Uh, fury swipes. Power is 18, accuracy is 80. It's a multi hitting attack. The foe is ranked with. is ranked with sharp claws or scythes for two to five times in quick s succession. Uh,. I can actually replace Scratch. Scratch might do more, but depending on how many times it hits, um, Fury Swipes has the potential to do more. Also, if we ever come across a Pokemon that we want to catch, which is lower level, we can always use fairy swipes to just lower its health. Crit. Crit's gonna hit. And Shinx is evolving. Hey, guess what, guys? We got a Luxio. To be honest, I did not think I'd have Shinx that long that it would actually level up. That's actually pretty amazing. Well, I guess we'll keep Shinx for a little bit longer. Oh, what's over here? And TM09 Bullet Seed. This is actually a good one. The user forcefully shoots seeds at the foe. Two to five times are. Two to five seeds are shot in rapid succession. Power is 10, accuracy is 100. It's a grass type move. It's actually a good move to teach Turtwig if um, you took Turtwig as your starter. But we are now here. Floroma Town. And we came with some business. First off, we're gonna heal. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Also, I know I went over this, that um, down here and upstairs are communication centers. Did not think there would be a tutorial. Hello, glad to meet you. I'm your guide for the Pokemon Wi-Fi Club. 
First, I need you to give give this to you. Pal pad. So you can register friends and their Nintendo IDs. You can meet people on the second floor for trading and for battles. You may register s such Pokemon as friends in your PayPal. Um, in your pal pad. You may also manually register friends by entering their friend codes. I understand. Well, there's a PC here. This is where you talk to to go um, wirelessly communicate. I just wanted to show what they looked like. Let's go up here. Okay, thank God, not another tutorial. One of these is for a private... One of these is to create a room. The other one is to join a room. There's a PC over here. Look at all the flowers! It's amazing! I got... I got drawn here by the sweet scent of honey. Seriously, what's that? What am I? A Pokemon or something? Hmm, honey. I simply love it here. The atmosphere is so uplifting. You can you came to get emotionally healed too, didn't you? And then the two guys, or two of the guys from Team Galactic, I said Plasma earlier, didn't I? I'm an idiot. <laughs> Aren't we Team Galactic? We're assigned, and we're assigned here, standing around amongst flowers. This doesn't seem all that cool. Hey now, don't complain. This is the, this is a pretty decent assignment. But bug and grass type Pokemon so creep me out. I don't like being here either. Said don't complain, now you're complaining. There are more flowers behind those trees, but we can't get to them with those guys there. Uh, there's a flower shop here and berries. Yeah, there's a um, cherry berry. Let's pick it. Berries you pick can be used as food for Pokemon. You can also exchange them at the florist for accessories to dress up your Pokemon. Orange berries. Orange berries heal 10 HP. I remember that because I use those berries a lot. Uh, yeah, berries next. Cherry berries are um, for recovering from paralysis. Starting with you. Trainer, please water berries using the, sparkle, the spray duck watering can. And now we got the spray duck watering can. It's up to you. A single berry will grow into a plant that makes several berries. By planting one, there will be more and more berries in the world. I hope you will help us spread more berries everywhere. And we got a Rossberry. That one heals burn. Hello. Would you like to exchange your berries for accessories? There's a red flower, pink flower, white flower, blue flower, orange flower, yellow flower, uh, goodly flower? Black flower, gorgeous spice, 
Oh, goodly spice, black spice, gorgeous spice, sweet candy, con confetti, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Costs a lot of berries as you go down 10 to 30 to 15 to 20 to 40 to 30 to 50 to 80 to 250. 80, 180, 100, 120, 150, 250, 200. Empty trash can. So basically, if you wanted more of a specific type of berry, you could plant one in soil spots like this and water it with the watering can we just got and then it will grow with a matter of I think a few minutes or maybe like an hour or so uh, in the Pokemart this is actually the wrong one that I went to there's also a heel ball there's a heel ball and a net ball from that one there's a Pokeball, which I wouldn't mind actually buying a few of. There's a Potion. There's a Super Potion. There's an Antidote. Paralyze Heal. Awakening. Burn Heal. Ice Heal. And Escape Rope and Repel. Ice Heal heals free frozen. I almost said freeze. Escape rope gets you out of any cave, back to the exit where you had started. Repel repels Pokemon for a certain amount of steps. I think it was 150. Oh no, it was 100. So super is probably 150. And then, uh, I don't remember what the third one is called. Let's check what's inside this house. Some kinds of Pokemon appears only if they are attracted by sweet scent of honey. That will actually be important for us later. Not yet. Uh, oh, there's one more thing. To point out, uh, she will give you a new berry every um, day. So if you're in dire need of berries or if you just want a new berry, and go to her each day. You got a new one. Floroma Town was a barren, diso desolate hill long ago. People started planting flowers on it because it was such a sad place, but nothing would grow. People didn't know what to do. And then one day, someone expressed thanks for the blessing of nature. Then the whole hill burst into bloom. Isn't that strange and wonderful? Definitely strange. And yeah, kind of wonderful. Well, the only way we can go is this way. Find more berries. Chesto berry. Pecha berry. Pecha berries um, heal poison. I don't remember what chesto berries do. Chesto berries are puffin ingredients. They also recover from sleep. All berries can actually be made into puffins. Help, help, trainer. Please, can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Wind Works. But the people just like spacemen are mean and won't let me in. Well, that sounds like trouble. Team Galactic's here. And also, you can't ignore her. We, Team Galactic, are conducting research in Eterna Forest. 
This is as far as you will go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flowery meadows of Floroma Town. We are also use, using the energy of the Valley of Wind, of the Valley Windworks, for something. But that is of no concern to you. Well, it is a concern to us, cause she asked us to go check it out. Pokeball back here, which is a potion. I keep saying a Pokeball because I see the Pokeball even though I know it's an item and it's not necessarily a Pokeball. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out. If that's not part of that's not part of Team Galactic, you you're gonna you're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try to get in. Okay then, you'll have to battle me for for it. Another Team Galactic fight. He has one Pokemon. And it's a Glammeow. Magikarp can definitely take her. Uh... Inferno, let's give you a shot. Let's muck punch. And super effective. That's right, the other worker's key is not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Haha, ha. in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. He runs in, locks the door. It's locked from the inside. Well then. We saw those people in Floroma Town, so why not let's go and get the key from them. I don't want to go through the pet, so I don't, um, run over the flowers, even though I did before. Hey, wouldn't you know it, they're gone. Enough arguing. Hand over the, the sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will not- will have- that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What would we do? We don't need that b brat running off to get help. The solution is simple. We ensure the brat stays quiet. And fight. Starting off with a worm pool. Going to Luxio. Gonna hit him power right. Wait. Did this grunt say that he didn't know it was the other one who said he didn't like grass type and bug type Pokemon? I was about to say, you don't like bug type Pokemon, yet you have one?
Let us. Hidden powers. So cool. So cool is a Pokemon similar to uh, Kakuna and uh, Metapod. It can only use Harden, it cannot attack, which means one shotting it is the best option. Mock Punch. That you do have. Well, let's try Ember. Quick Claw. Super effective. And now to fight the second grunt. No, don't know why they didn't do a double battle for this, but... Oh, thank god he only has one. Zubat! and empower this one. It is a dark type. Is it bad? No, so bad it's a flying poison. Or am I thinking it's a dark type? Let's bite it. Imagine just seeing jaws like chomp down. He blames the Pokemon. It's not the Pokemon's fault. They ditch. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a worker's key. And we get the key card. Tried to rob him of the honey. And for his th things, he gives us honey. If you slather the honey on the sweet-smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. So the sweet-smelling trees are these. Over here. If you put honey on the tree, check back later to see if it's rustling. If it is, it's quite often a rare Pokemon. It gets my hopes up every time. The flower that grows in the fields here are special. Do you see how they're more vivid than the flowers elsewhere in Sinnoh? You can thank Pokemon for that. Oh yeah. 
Also, I think I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. And next time, we will head to Valley... To, to Valley Windworks and take on Team Galactic. See y'all then.